Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about Bishop score. Bishop score, it is also known as pre-labor scoring system or pre-induction scoring system. So this pre-labor scoring system is used to assist in predicting whether induction of labor will be required or not. In 1964, Edward Bishop developed a scoring system to predict the result of induction of labor. The original version of Bishop score has five parameters that is cervical dilation, cervical effacement, consistency of cervix, position of cervix and station of the fetal head. And the modified version of Bishop score replaced effacement by cervical length. In this scoring system, the minimum score is 0 and the maximum score is 13. Here you can see the Bishop score chart. And here the parameters are based on the vaginal examination. And here first you can see cervical dilation. So if, when we will be doing vaginal examination, if the cervix is closed, that means there is no dilation of cervix. So there we can give score 0. And if the cervix is dilated 1 to 2 cm means we can give score 1. And if the cervix is dilated 3 to 4 cm means that indicates score is 2. And if the cervix is dilated 5 or more, that is 5 cm or more, that indicates score 3. Next, second parameter is cervical assessment. And in modified Bishop score, it is measured as cervical length. That is its cervical length if it is more than 4 cm it indicates that a cervix is not favorable for labor that means we have to give score 0 and if the cervical length is 2 to 4 cm means that is score 1 and if the cervical length is 1 to 2 cm means that is score 2 if the cervical length is less than 1 indicates score is 3 so here effacement or cervical length what is effacement means it's a shortening of cervix shortening and thinning of cervix third parameter is consistency of cervix so when we'll be doing vaginal examination if the cervix is firm to touch then there we can give score zero and if the consistency is medium then we can give score one and if the cervix is completely soft then we can give score two the maximum consistency of cervix is soft so that's why here the maximum score is 2 and in the first category and second category that is in the cervical dilation and effacement the maximum score is 3 and here in the consistency the maximum score is 2 and next position of cervix so if the position of cervix is posterior to the maternal maternal spine then the score is 0 and if the position of the cervix is in the midline and the score is 1 and if the position of the cervix is anterior to the maternal spine then the score will be 2 here also the maximum position will be to coming towards anterior side so that's why here the maximum score is 2 fifth parameter is station of the fetal head that is nothing but descent of the fetal head okay so here the station how we can determine means if the fetal head reaches the ischial spine of the pelvis then the station will be zero and if the fetal head is above the level of ischial spine means that is minus stations and if the fetal head is below the ischial spine means that is plus stations so here if the station when we will be doing vaginal examination if the station is minus three that is above ischial spine minus three means we have to give score zero and if the station of the fetal head is minus 2 then we have to give score 1 and if the station of the fetal head is at the level of ischial spine or just above the ischial spine that is minus 1 or 0 station means we have to give score 2 and if it is below the ischial spine that is plus 1 or plus 2 station means there we, we can give score 3 here the total score is 13 the favorable score is 6 to 13 is considered as favorable score and below 6 it is considered as unfavorable score. 
favorable score means it is favorable for induction of labor that is there is a chance of vaginal delivery with induction of labor and 6 or less than 6 is considered as unfavorable that is unfavorable for induction of labor that is there is less chance of vaginal delivery with induction in this case if an induction is indicated we need to use cervical ripening agents